I think a lot of boys deserved the man in match at the other day. Um, we just we were just great. I thought the performance was decent, um, but we got the win at the end. We came here bare bones, so we did, and we fought man to man. Even going down to ten men, um, I thought we were, we were brilliant. We came here with an attitude that we wanted to win after the defeat last week. Um, so I I thought we done really well. I think. To be 2 0 up at half time on on Treves half was probably harsh. But I think I'm being disingenuous to the boys as well because we weathered the storm pretty well in the first half. They had chances. We had chances as well. They were probably the better side in the first half. Some of the football they played was brilliant. A, a really good side, mate. The, the way they moved the ball, the way they play it, it's really, really enjoyable to watch. And I thought the first half we defended really well. We spent a lot of time defending. We didn't have many forward moments in the game uh, in the first half, sorry, but to go and then get the the two goals, two good goals. First goal was fantastic, brilliant football, and a great finish. The second one from a, a corner, um, and I thought we deserved it. I thought to be two 0 and and battle that way, we deserved it in that respect to get to there. Also, I'm conscious of of the manager and the players at half time. I thought it was really really top draw. I'm the first to criticise the manager. I love slagging him off, but I thought that his attitude at half time to make sure we stayed on our toes and we remembered. Last week's disappointment and the disappointment a few weeks ago um, in games against uh, the Ants and stuff like that, you know, to remind the players of that and make sure we're out the bit between the teeth even at 2-0 up, I thought was really, really good. We got the third goal with a chance, I think, just before that as well. We got the third, gave away a silly free kick, I think, let them get back in at 3-1. Then we get the sending off and again, we just battled. We defended so well as a unit, you know, players shuffling all across the park, the ball coming up and having to hold it in so that we can try and get up the park a bit. Can I wait for you about four more months? I had a really, really good result, Mike. And I, I'm, I'm really thrilled and I'm so proud of the players. Every single one of them, from the defenders, the goalkeeper, the midfielders, and the forwards, who I never mentioned a few weeks ago and got a lot of sticks I'm not mentioning. And the guys that came off the bench as well, you know, it wasn't easy. Sav getting injured early on, Sean getting injured early on. That's two subs that you're then having to make. And Ross came in for his first game today for a wee bit, 15, 20 minutes. And again, it was a really good, really good cameo appearance. So... Overall, to come down here, mate, and get three points and go back up in the bus happy is, is a great feeling, and we need to now look ahead to next week. Again, it's a tough game. You know, it's a place we don't know. It's a team that we don't know. We have to go up there and we have to figure it out. And up there, a long journey up. Uh, again, we're struggling a wee bit in terms of injuries, which hasn't been ideal. Um, we've got a few players coming in this week, I think, so we need to get a quick look over them and see if we'll be ready for Saturday or not. But we have to go up there and we have to be brave and we have to go up to enjoy the game, enjoy the occasion, the big bus journey out, you know, and we have to just look forward to it. We can't go up there worried and nervous. We need to look forward to it. I've got total faith in this team. I had total faith coming in here today with 14 players or whatever we had because we're a good enough side. So we have to keep that confidence going. We have to keep that confidence working in the next week.